Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Tuesday. So I'm going to bring in the DM's confessions today by Bridget Rowe. Wow, jumping out the deck already there. So your masculine clearly has things he wants to say, things he wants to bring forward today to share with you. Remember when I'm saying he, that's just the way I'm channeling the energy. We know the masculine can be both feminine and like the masculine can be both man and a woman, but also operate in feminine and masculine energy. And I am feeling today that the masculines are feeling very feminine. You know, they are feeling very emotional and sensitive about you and about their life. So what do they want to say today? What do they want to say? What do they want to say? I'm taking out any cards I feel are jumping. I feel these are the main messages and these are extras. So I do check up on you to see what you're doing. Okay, I do check up on you. Now, I feel someone definitely needs to hear that because maybe you think you're going mad and you're thinking, I'm sure he's been checking up on my social media. I'm sure he's been asking my friends about me. I'm sure he's been, you know, trying to work out what I'm up to. Is that the truth or am I going mad? You're not going mad, divine feminine. He's saying, yes, I do check up on you to see what you're doing. I do keep an eye on what's going on in your world. I am afraid to open up though. So he's still saying I'm still dealing with, you know, this ability that I need to have to open up. I'm still healing wounds around it. So I'm afraid to open up because I know it will be the end of my ability to keep these walls up, to wear this mask. I'm just protecting my heart. It really isn't you, it's me. So give him time to take off that mask because it is coming off. You know, give him time to open up because he is opening up. Give him time because he is changing and evolving and transforming. And he's saying, you're better off without me for now. So for now, you may be better off without him. Why? Because he's still learning to open up. He's still, you know, seeing what you're up to and if it's safe to move forward. And whenever there's a delay or a block or an obstacle, this is because you are being protected. Now, remember the message from yesterday. The masculine sent you a rainbow. And he said, that's a sign that our journey is protected. That's a sign that sometimes the universe is protecting you from me. That's a sign sometimes that I'm protecting you from my energy because I feel angry and frustrated and in pain. And I don't want to inflict that on you. So never see it as a negative if you aren't together in the moment, because in that moment, it may be the best thing for you. And I read every word you've written to me more than once. So if you think he just deletes your messages without reading them, or he doesn't pay attention to what you've wrote or said, think again, because he's saying, I read every word. I read every word you've written me, whether it's in a letter, a text message, an email, something on social media, in a post. I read it more than once. So he's showing you he's still got that information, whether it's in the filing cabinet in his head or in his phone archive. You know, he's saying, I'm rereading your messages and I'm sorry I risk losing your love. And they give me the word risk because he's still doing that. You know, if he's still not coming forward or if he still hasn't replied, he's still risking losing your love. And he's saying, I'm sorry I risked it. So he knows he walked away and risked losing you but he's saying I'm sorry I'm still risking these things by taking my time but I do want to do it the right way so these are clarifiers sometimes I feel like you would be better off if I disappeared but I can't let go so this is when he goes into his wounds and his pain and he's thinking oh you'd be better off with someone else you know I'm in too much pain you know why do you want me what do you see in me? What can I possibly give to you? So that's when he's in his victim mentality. But that's what he's working through. And he's saying, when we connect sexually, sometimes it's so intense I run because I feel myself falling deeper in love. So if you've had a really intimate, you know, encounter lately, and whether that's in person or you've been flirting online or, you know, you've been having real intense chemistry and connection on the 5d and then all of a sudden he seems to have run or he's not replying or something has changed he's saying to you it's not you it's me it's so intense between us these passionate feelings and all this intensity 
I run because I feel myself falling deeper in love. And that scares me. It scares him how much he wants and needs and loves you, Divine Feminine. So give him time to come back. I do love you. And I do want to spend time with you because you're so amazing. And you're so amazing, it's intimidating. So try and see it from a high point of view because you may see it as always just ignoring you. He doesn't want or love you. You know, he needs to get his act together. But in spiritual truth, he's intimidated by you. Your light, your beauty, the way you are. And he's falling deeper in love with you every day. And that scares him. It's so intense, all these feelings and all this passion and desire. It scares him. Because you make him operate in a higher light. You make him feel things he's never felt. You make him become his greatest version. And that takes effort to change. And he's saying, wow, it scares me sometimes. But of course I check up on you to see what you're doing. Because I love you. And I care and we are one and I read every word you've ever sent to me. Every word you've ever written to me more than once. I'm sorry I risk losing your love. But sometimes you're so amazing to me, it's intimidating. And I run and hide away because I'm afraid to open up. I'm afraid to open my heart. And when I'm in that energy, you're better off without me in that moment. For now, it's not forever. Sometimes I think, why do you want me? You'd be better off without me. If I disappeared, but I can't let you go because I love you. And I know that when I open up to you, it's going to be the end of these walls and barriers and masks and the end of life as I know it. So if I seem to be protecting my heart, it's my issues. I need to heal things within so I can break free from the karmic partner, stand up for what I believe in and be with you. And that's why when we connect in a sexual way or even in a you know sensual way, it just gets a bit much sometimes because your light soothes me and I need you. But until I'm ready to give you everything fully without hurting you again, which ultimately hurts me, I have to stay away. So give it time because he's doing his work. It's not that he doesn't want you. It's the fact that he wants you too much sometimes and he has to deal with the intensity of that feeling and the love. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.